Hi Libra, getting ready to do your reading. We're going to see what is going on with you and your person. So let's see what is their energy. Actually, this is the overall energy of the connection. So it may include you or them, just overall. So what is that? So as a person, so you have their energy, they're thinking about you, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they may be wanting to reach out, Eight of Wands is in the, uh, under the deck. Now again, this may mean that they're just on fire, they're passionate, they want to get things going. So that's the overall energy. How they feel about you, Libra, how do they feel about you? Okay, they've been spying quite a bit, watching you, it could be on your social media, of course, maybe you work with this person, whatever. However they're spying, they're spying. What they plan to do is, probably take control of the situation ace of wands is under the deck with that so this person's like sounds stupid but they're on fire for you you know what i mean like they're passionate like they want to get this going they want you so what is your energy or how you're coming across to them three of wands oh they think you're not even paying attention to them but look at what's under the deck so you're coming across as the queen of wands but maybe being kind of coy about the situation maybe you have turned your back on this person I don't get like this is you looking for them at all. I get the opposite whenever I get this card because like, that's, you know, we, we can't see their face. Um, they're looking out, kind of ignoring us. It's kind of what I get off this energy. So they may that may be why they're coming across the way they are. They feel ignored by you. And then what is the potential outcome right now? Nine of coins. Okay, I can see what's going on here. You may be spending time at home or, or with family just because the Ten of Cups is under the deck. Sometimes I read the nine of coins is like she's doing her thing out in the garden. She's just busy. She's happy. She's not, you know. So uh, you are coming across right now as independent, self-sufficient. You don't need this person. This person's really into you. So again, I don't know if you're kind of playing things close to your chest, playing a little coy, or if you really are not that super interested in them. So this person's overall energy is the king of wands. So eight of coins and the king of cups. They could be, okay, okay. There, there might be two people, let's just get that out of the way, they have their eye on you, just FYI. One or more of these people might be at your job or work or someplace you go. They may be a little bit worried that there's competition, they may wanna knock the competition you know, out of the way with the five of swords, that might be why that's there. So you may have two people interested in you if not, they could be falling in love when the King of Cups comes up. So it could be that they're excited. They're thinking about you all the time. Um, again, I get like heart racing. You might, like I said, work with this person, go to the school with this person, see them somewhere quite regularly with the Eight of Coins. Maybe they just got a new job. Maybe they're excited about getting a new job. Maybe they're hoping to impress you or they've done, you know, some something. I don't know. I just get like they're kind of excited about you with the full energy. So how they feel about you, they're spying. Oh, I got two more. So you got this person in their feelings. They're kind of worried about something, maybe something to do with the past. Maybe this is a repeating pattern or cycle or something like that. They may feel like you're not into them because you know two of those cards, she's blindfolded. And then the third card, we're not even really seeing her. Actually, there's someone who's blindfolded here also but we don't really see her face. So this person feels like you're ignoring them and that you're not giving them any, you know, confirmation. Now, okay, now, maybe this person doesn't deserve you. Maybe this person is a big flirt. Maybe they're just trying to get your attention and once they get it, they're gone, something like that. But what do they think is gonna come in with the wheel? So they're afraid that they're not um, gonna get noticed by you or get an opportunity with you. What is the wheel? Yep, they're worried that you're going to walk away. Ace of Swords. So right now the feelings are Libra's not paying attention to me. Libra's not looking in my direction. What is Libra doing? Why is Libra, you know, just so independent and self-sufficient? They don't need me. They got, Libra has their back towards me. So this person's stressing. They're worrying right now. What they plan to do is the Five of Swords. So this should be interesting. What are they planning to do? Charge in a relationship. So they may be moving, putting in effort. They could be trying to show you, hey, look at me with the three coins. Look what I can do. I'm a great catch. Let's work together. Let's have a relationship. So they plan to move fast. This person's worried that you are moving on. They're worried that you don't want them. 
they're worried that you're not interested in them okay so how they view you is the three of wands right now two of cups seven of cups oh hanged man it's kind of like you're just very aloof like you're you could take this connection or leave it maybe there is somebody else on your mind this king of wands may not be the person on your mind you may be interested in somebody new there's love here. There is a connection with the Two of Cups. However, there's either other options or you're just kind of like scattered Seven of Cups. Like, okay, well, what else could I be doing? You're just not really into this connection right now for whatever reason. Could be, there, could be you think this person's a player. Maybe they are. This may be an ex. Maybe you're just not interested in them again. Um, maybe, maybe you don't notice them. But I don't think so. And then potential outcome right now is you just being on your own. Nine of Coins, doing your own thing. What is the Nine of Coins? Potential outcome. Knight of Cups, the Lovers, and the Nine of Cups. Well, I'm going to tell you something. This person plans to try to sweep you off your feet. Okay. You may end up with this person anyways. You may just be playing coy. This may be just you playing your cards close to your vest to see what they'll do. Will they, you know... A step up will they take you out will they do something nice for you or fun for you will they you know what are they planning to do you're not making this easy for them which I think is a good thing I don't, I don't mean like you're making it difficult or anything but just like they need to put in a little effort right um, now this shows me though you guys may be physical together though this doesn't really show me relationship so maybe you plan to be with them physically but nothing else one more for the nine of cups lovers well, you seem happy. There does seem to be something here with the Four of Wands. So, what is this King of Cups energy? What is this King of Cups? Five of Wands. I kind of feel like you're giving this person a run for their money. I don't know why. I just kind of get like something could happen in five days, five weeks. Um, I think you want this person to kind of fight for you, to put in the effort. If it definitely is a past person, because Ace of Swords can show me reconciliation. Some of you, you may have two people interested in you and you kind of want to see like who's who, who's really into you or who's just, you know, talking. I feel like you will be with the right person if there's two people. Like you're going to know who the right person for you is. If it's just one person, it's like you do, you want this person to kind of put it out there, put their feelings out there they don't want to you can kind of tell they don't they don't want to but they're so afraid of losing you you can see are you walking away that they are going to do something else they're going to do let's see you have an angel watching out for you guardian angel looking out for you there's some challenges it says make a decision work on inner healing with an earth sign maybe a water sign too for some of you oh god at air sign also under here you may be like a scorpio libra cusper because in Scorpio's Extended, they had like all four of the masculine, you know, all the kings sh showed up toward the end of their reading. So there definitely may be more than one person you're dealing with. So you're trying to make a decision here. You're Maybe you're asking your guides, the universe, what you should do regarding maybe a person, two people, something like that. What are they going to do with the three of coins? I'm going to pull a different deck here. What are they going to do with the three of coins? Wow, they're just looking at you like you don't have time for them. This person feels like they've already pulled out the stops or they've done something and you're just not interested. feels like they don't know what to do next. So they're going to do something. What are they going to do next with the Three of Coins? What is their plan? Justice. They're going to win you. Some way, somehow, they're going to win you. Okay, what is this Eight of Cups? They're worried about you walking away. Sad. Choosing something new. Ace of Swords. King of Wands is here. What's coming in? I do feel like this person has to change things up a little bit. They have to change their game plan or something like that. Like they can't just keep doing the same old thing. Um, you are out of their league a little bit. Like if they're if this is new and they're coming in doing kind of like the same old dating routine, I feel like that's not going to cut it. If this is a past person, definitely not going to cut it. I mean, if you guys have already been through some stuff, what is this Ace of Swords? What is this Ace of Swords? King of Cups again. The Knight of Coins, the Three of Wands, and the Two of Cups. 
I, they may be apologizing or spilling their heart, telling you exactly what they're thinking and feeling. There's some sort of offer or gift or something with the Knight of Coins. I think they're telling you about the future, what they want with you. There is love here, though, because what's coming in is the Two of Cups. So that would tell me that they are going to express their feelings to you. Maybe that's all you're waiting for here. Maybe that's what you want to hear. Yep, maybe that's it. There's my confirmation. Um, all right, what is the Six of Wands for you? And the outcome was the Six of Wands for Libra. Yeah, you're just going to wait until they reach out. Page of Cups. Libra, you're so funny. You're just like, nope, I'm not going to do anything. That's my four of swords. That's my, I'm not going to get up. I'm not going to answer the door. I'm not going to answer a text. I'm just going to lay here until they do the, what I want them to do. So especially if this is like an ex who needs to come back and apologize for something. Let's see. We have someone is coming. They are coming toward you. It just feels right. I feel like you like each other. Let's be honest, flipped around. So honest communication needs to be some sort of healing. And there's reconciliation here. And it's just all in divine timing. No one compares. I'm going to go to this deck also and see what they say to you. What do they want to say to Libra? I hope we can come back together and pick up where we left off. Vulnerability is my weakness. I never felt anything like this before. I kicked myself for sabotaging this relationship. My life won't be the same, and I dream of you. All right, Libra. So I'm going to leave your reading there. Have a great week, you guys.